Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Akakadash, Shalom to the hope and elect out there. I'm going to entitle this video, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. And this is from Malachi 4, verse 6. I'll start at, uh, I'll start at, uh, and really I should read the whole chapter because it's only six verses. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that, but this is what I'm focusing on. All right. So if you don't know, have the understanding of this particular chapter, I'm going to give it to you right now. Malachi 4 verse 1, for behold, the days cometh that shall burn as an oven. Is that talking, is that talking about hell? Is that talking about eternal hell? Or is the most I going to put us, put us in the oven and cook us like a ginger, ginger, what does it call it? Ginger, gingerbread men and gingerbread women. Uh, anyway, it says, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. The day that cometh that shall burn as an oven is talking about this destruction by missiles, by way of the uh, ICBM missiles. This goes hand in hand with the lake of fire. The lake of fire is, is, uh, is um, how can I say, uh, parabolic, symbolic, uh, for uh, poetic, poetic, the lake of fire and the, and the oven, talking about the same thing. The Most High is not going to bring down a big gigantic oven and put people up in there, man. He's not going to grab up Edomites and throw them in a big oven and cook them. Neither is it, are the angels going to cast people in a lake of fire, which is hell. The day that cometh that shall burn as an oven is the same. It is just it was it was uh, given to Malachi in the form of an oven. It was given to John, the, the apostles, and on the, as a in the form of a lake on fire. It says, uh, and all the proud. Who are the proud? Starting with the Edomites, we can we can go a whole subject on the, the pride of Esau. But guess what? Guess who else is full of pride? Those other nations. Because not Esau is not just going to be destroyed. These other nations that are all these different nations, Moabites, and all these different, different nations are, are coming over here to fill the fire, so to speak. Uh, all the proud, so it's talking about Esau, it's talking about the other nations, the wicked nations, and it's talking about Israelites because you have proud Israelites out there. Yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be what? Shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, say of Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave neither root nor branch. That's also in Isaiah 14. If you have a root or a branch, you, you can take the root or you can even take the branch. You can, you can uh, bring that branch back to life. Right? When you cut a tree down, you got to uproot the tree. Because if you cut the tree down, you leave it. After so many years, the tree will grow back. So this is talking about Esau not having any root to him. He's not going to come back into power. Period. Second verse. But unto you that fear my name, the, the name, what's the name? Yahweh Bashem Shai, shall the son of righteousness um, arise with healing in his wings, that's the kingdom, deliverance in the kingdom, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves in the stall. That's a, a kingdom, you're going to be taken care of. And ye shall tread down the wicked. That's the torment part in Revelation. They shall be tormented day and night. The torment, the torment part is they're going to be getting their asses kicked in the kingdom, and they're going to be our slaves. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord. Now that's clearly uh, symbolic, parabolic, poetic. It doesn't mean that, okay, Babylon is destroyed, the smoke cleared, and you got ashes, and then we're going to walk over the ashes of Esau. No, it doesn't say that's 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 poetic. 
It says, remember ye the law of Moses. Yes, we ought to keep the laws. When you come into this, you learn how to keep the laws. My servants, which I command unto you, to him in Horad, for all Israel. Subject matter is Israel. It's talking about, it's addressed to Israel with the, the statutes and judgment. That's why the apostle Paul said, which is a shadow of things to come. In other words, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to keep the laws perfectly. So don't worry, Colossians, don't worry about keeping the laws perfectly. Don't let anybody judge you about doing this and do, doing that. Galatians 3, oh foolish Galatians. Behold, I send you Elijah the prophet. Elijah the prophet, we believe that that's Abba Bivens. He came as John and he came again as Abba. He came many other times, but those are the some of the you know major John. He also came as Abba. It said, uh, uh, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. He wasn't talking about Yahweh Shai coming when John was on the scene. This precept right here, this verse right here is talking about when he came as Abba. Abba has to come. Elijah has to come a, a second time. He came as John. And, he, and then he also came as Abba Bivens. So now that he came, because the Lord would not be able to come except that Elijah come back. So he's talking about the second time he came back as Elijah, as, a, as Abba Bivens. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Really, I mean before, because the earth is going to be smitten with a curse. That's that fire. That's a change of worlds. So now, if Elijah is Abba Bivens, then who are these men right here? They would have to be Masha, Arya, and Yaikwa. So now, okay, this is a video that uh, a Bishop Nate Nathaniel put up uh, at UIC events. And I knew he was going to put up a video on it. The passing of my elder. Now, he, look at the topic. He said, the passing of my elder. He said good things. He, he, he prays, he prays uh, uh, high priest Arya, elder Arya. He, he mentioned and praised uh, King Masha, and he mentioned and he praised uh, Yaikwa, elder Yaikwa. But this is the thing. Who was involved in, in uh, the split? You. And I'm pointing at you because you're the only guy left. The rest of those guys, are, we don't even know where they are. We don't know if they're dead. But you were behind that. You and the rest of those guys, your Ashin, Rahab, and some others, you got to Masha's ear because they were disrespecting Masha about the sitting up as a king and the King David thing. So you came to Masha's aid because they didn't want to acknowledge him as King David. But this is the hypocrite hypocritical part about it. You call, you cause, you got the Masha's ear with the, the mother men that we don't know what, what they're doing right now. And you had him go, but then you said, you told me this. That you had a dream. And this was after the whole split. Y'all became Reservoir Dogs. Um, you said that uh, yeah, we didn't acknowledge Masha as king. He's not the king no more because I had a dream that he, he told me to take some rice and give it to the people. And you told him that there's pork and pork juice in the rice. And King Marshall in your dream said, go ahead and give it to him anyway. Then when you woke up, you said, he's not King David. But you, you, you made honorable mention of this guy. You said some good words, but you gotta, you gotta speak. You gotta teach the truth, man. Truth is not half truth. You gotta tell the whole truth. So you're being a hypocrite, my friend. And then you you said, uh, uh, elder, uh, elder Ariya was the greatest teacher, and he said, my my elder. Oh, it says my elder. I wouldn't I wouldn't leave my elder. Okay. I was hoping that you were going to say that you were wrong. You you, you would never say that because you're full of pride. And I didn't like I said I didn't want to get on. I, I didn't want to make another video getting on IUIC. That should be a song. I don't want to make another video getting on IUIC. 
But you're clearly being a hypocrite, man. And then the thing is this. I, when in other videos, you acknowledge that Elijah is Abba, but who did Abba give this truth to? He gave it to Masha, Arya, and Yaquab, and many others. The, the others, after he died, they went their own ways because they didn't want to come up under the leadership of Masha, Arya, and Yaquab. Elders, Masha, Arya, and Yaquab. Because they said, you guys are not my teachers. So guess what? They had to start from scratch, and men would start from the seven, and then us, and then others, and you came in, all right? So for you to say, he's a, uh, he's my elder, he's the greatest, you say he's, he's the greatest teacher, he's uh, the greatest teacher out there when it comes to breaking down, he said my spirit uh, cleaved to him, you didn't say it in that, those words, and the, breaks down, the breakdowns that you go through, the interpretation of the scriptures are from our real. So you got you, you to gotta come correct, man. Now for the record, now for the record, oh, by the way, Yahweh Sop, he was down with us too. He goes way back. He was in my camp and along with uh, Bishop Nate. And uh, I'm thinking now. Oh, you said you had a dream that you had a spiritual power. Ariel had spiritual power. He had a fireball and the spirit, the fireball came in your hand and your fireball was bigger than uh, uh, Elder uh, Ariel's fireball and he threw it at you and you ducked and you threw a fireball at him and it got him. So tell the truth, man. Tell the truth. Also, you, we, we used to call you the dreamer. Did you, do you not remember that you had a dream you had a dream. That's when we were all cool at 126. Did you not? Do you not remember that you had a dream that the oil was taken away from you? Because every time you have a dream, it must mean something. It's still telling me something. It must mean, mean it's going to come to pass. You had a dream that the oil was taken away. You had the oil that was taken away from you. And at the end, the oil was restored back to you. Now, I hope the oil will get stored, restored back to you. Is the oil in you? No, the oil's not in you. For you to teach that the uh, the uh, the lake of fire is an eternal damnation, that was never taught by your elders, who you call them your elders. You're going to do your own thing. Let the record reflect that we we stuck with Aria because we ran into Aria many a times after the split. And we always, always saluted him. And always talked to him. And we was always happy to see uh, him. And he was always happy to see us when we were speaking in front of the state building. Along with Shaw. We ran into Shaw. We saluted them, all right? So we didn't go, we didn't split with nobody. We went with Mo. We didn't split from Aria so much as we went with Mo because he was a leader. You go with the leader. There's a situation where uh, Captain Tazariak, let's say, I'm doing my own thing. And certain people follow him. The ones that came up under Yohanna, those people will be going off to follow Captain Tazaria. They got to stay with Yohanna. What Captain Tazari, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but we, if Captain Tazari, because I'm not no longer with it, he got to go by himself. Nobody's to follow that man because there's an order there. Saul, somebody did a video about Saul um, that uh, David, I believe it was. Uh, Bishop Nate, if I'm not mistaken, so many videos coming out um, that um, I don't know. I forget who, who did it. So many videos came out that uh, the King David rebuked his men against Saul because David said, this is one of the anointed of the most high. You see? So I said, you know, it's good that you made a video, but you're being you're being a hypocrite, my friend. Open rebuke is better than secret love. See, that's one thing we will do. We will rebuke you, man. If you do the wrong thing, if you go off, if you do the right thing, we'll praise you. So you have some soul searching to do, as do we all, which we always do. Examine yourself, whether you be in the, uh, the faith. Prove your own self that you be not a reprobate. Anyway,
I'm gonna say, like I said, I try, I try not to say nothing negative. But guess what? I heard that I heard what he had to say in this particular video, and it's hypocritical. You should say I, I was wrong. I shouldn't have never left them. I should have had them come to stay together. But it was all in the spirit, any damn way, you know. Anyway, with that, shalom.